Hi everyone, this is Tom Mills. We're a little behind on our cooking month, so it's not June anymore, but we're going to do the cinnamon roll recipe anyways. Uh, it's been very requested. It's probably the favorite recipe of all of Daddy's recipes we make it here at our house. So let's just get into it. Well, we're going to be making our dough in a bread machine. It does really good for mixing the dough. We have it downstairs. Don't use it all that often, but this is one of the things we do use it for. And you're going to start by adding a uh, cup of milk that's hot. About a minute in the microwave will do just fine. If you don't have a bread machine, don't worry. You can just mix the bread dough by hand or in a, in a KitchenAid mixer and just give it a good place to rise for a while before punching it down. It'll be really silky when it's supposed to be done. Two eggs that are beaten. Half a cup of sugar. A cup of butter that's melted. Four cups of flour. Um, one of the things about when you're measuring flour is that you'll, you'll never measure the same thing twice. I usually like to cook by weight, but this recipe is before we cooked by weight. So you want to make sure you fluff it up good. Because if you pack it in there, it changes the amount. We want to get one, two, three. Quarter, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, or one yeast pack of salt. And that's pretty much it for the, the dough. We're gonna put this on the dough cycle. Okay. Put it in the bread machine. In the dough setting. Okay, meanwhile, while that's mixing, we're gonna do the filling. And the filling is just one cup of packed brown sugar and two and a half tablespoons of cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon. And the moisture in the brown sugar is going to stick to the cinnamon. So what you wanna do is just keep mixing it up. All right. Now that's ready, but we're just going to cover it up and wait a little while while it's mixing because it will dry out. Just cover it with a plate. Now you can get the frosting. The frosting is the part that makes this absolutely heavenly. It is really tasty with the frosting. So the frosting is going to be um, one and a half cups of powdered sugar. We got a double batch here going because the frosting is so yummy and everybody goes a little too crazy with it so and you're gonna use two whole sticks or actually one stick we're doubling it so we're using two sticks of softened butter and one-handed butter adding got it two ounces of cream cheese of course, like I said, we're doubling our recipe, so it's going to be twice that amount. And just a pinch or so of salt, some vanilla. Now we're going to mix this. We like to do the frosting in the KitchenAid, but if you just have a mixer, that's totally fine. In the KitchenAid, we like to whip it. So if it's whipped, it gets all a bunch of air in it. It gets super buttery and frothy and makes it really easy to spread. We're going to use the whisk attachment. For you don't want to go too fast to begin with or it'll get powdered sugar all over. But once it gets kind of mixed, we're going to go pretty much high speed to, to uh, get it whipped. It's good and whipped. I'm going to put it in the container. You can put it in the refrigerator, but it makes it kind of hard and not near as nice. So it's got so much sugar in it, it's not really going to spoil. Okay, it's all kneaded now. 
there's a lot of sugar in this dough, so it'll be the tenderest, silkiest dough you've ever felt. Because sugar is a tenderizer. Cinnamon rolls. So now you gotta roll them into a rectangle. It's hard to roll something into a rectangle, but Now you're just going to spread butter on this side of it. All right, so now you sprinkle this stuff on. Sally, go downstairs. I like to kind of mash it in. And it bonds with the dough a little bit. Should have made my rectangle the other way. Okay, now you roll it. Just bring it over and kind of pinch it closed. All right, now this is a good time to kind of stretch it where it's fatter. Mom, I might need to put this. You get them all kind of uniform. Tom, give me a big pan and the butt and the spray. Maybe Thomas could take over this job. Okay. Um, Solomon downstairs is freaking out. Yes, I know. That's why I'm trying to get you to help them so that I can take care of them. You need some, you're going to need some honey. Forget it. It's good. You need to pay attention to the camera. What? Just kind of squish them, flatten them out, and spread them on there. You want them to be kind of far apart, but you also kind of want them to touch when they swell so they won't get too dry on the edges. Okay, now you need to let these rise again. I like to give a nice spray of water. 
Because once the dough dries out, it won't really rise anymore. And I like to put it in a lowest temperature oven that's been preheated to half. So just like the pizza. So on ours, I set it to lowest it'll go, which is 170. And I let it, it takes four minutes to heat to 170, so I turn it off after two minutes. And it will be right about 100 degrees, which is perfect for rising. Okay. Well, after they've risen, they should be nice and big like that. At least an hour they've risen, or until they start getting nice and big. Then you're gonna set it to 400. Let it preheat, and we're gonna cook these at 400 for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes. All right, all done here. Nice and cooked. Then you can put the frosting on and eat them. I actually like to put the frosting on and then still microwave mine because the frosting melts so good in the microwave, but. Perfect. Sure. Good luck making some cinnamon rolls. See you guys next time.